Good afternoon. My name is Dr. David Talley. I'm a urologist with Urology San Antonio. And I want to talk to you about something today that a lot of people have and people know often very little about. And that is a Foley catheter. Now, I know that that mention of that often makes people very nervous. They get very squeamish and they just tighten up. I want to alleviate your fears. I want to answer a lot of questions. It's amazing to me as a physician how many people, even in the medical field, know so very little and really don't care to know about a Foley catheter. So I want to talk to you about a few things today that I think will make those of you who have catheters more comfortable, those of you who take care of people with catheters more comfortable, and all of us at some point are probably going to have one, and it will alleviate our fears and help us to know how to take care of those issues. Now, I brought a few examples today I want to show you here on my camera and just kind of answer how a catheter works. This is a catheter. Now, I've kind of wrapped it up here, and people say, well, how does a catheter stay in? Um, these actually look a lot bigger than they really are. A catheter is inserted into the bladder. Um, this part actually goes into the bladder, obviously, like this. And people say, how does that stay in? Well, as you can see, there's a little port on the end of this thing. And what the nurse does once she puts it in is she attaches this little thing, and she fills it with water. Oh, excuse me there. I had a little. And for the sake of the demonstration today, I used a little air. And what that does is, as you can see, it fills up a little balloon. That balloon doesn't hurt anything. It's on the inside of the bladder. And as you can see, it keeps the catheter from falling out. The bladder drains completely, and when the patient, it's time for the catheter to come out, the nurse can actually put the little syringe back on the end. She can draw the air out, or the water out, so what we use in the operating room, and it goes right back down to normal. Very simply done. People say, okay, that looks a lot more painful, or a lot less painful. It really is not that bad. People do very well with the catheter. I'd like to talk to you about, we've talked about how it works. It's basically, it's functions to drain the bladder. People can have catheters in after surgery. Um, they can have them where they can't get out of bed and they're recuperating from rehabilitation. A lot of things. People are often very nervous about a catheter. Can I hurt anything? You can get a little bleeding. Anytime you have a catheter in, you may see a little bleeding. Let me alleviate some fears. It only takes two drops of blood to turn five gallons of water pink. So it always looks a lot worse than it really is. I get terrified phone calls from patients and are really shocked to find out how little bleeding it takes to make it look a lot worse than it is. Um, the big thing is people say, well, how should I take care of a catheter? I'm worried about getting water and soap on it. Let me tell you, soap and water is the best thing in the world for a catheter. You can't hurt a thing. I get people in a bathtub with soap and water with a catheter, shower soap and water, not going to hurt a thing. Feel free to go to town on it. I wouldn't you try not to, you know, pull hard on it. Just lather up gently with soap and water as you would any kind of incision from surgery. Rinse it off with soap and water, best thing in the world for it. Um, people say to me, well, okay, that's great. Uh, I have questions about how do I maintain it? How do I take care of the catheter? I brought along some demonstrations today, and I'm just going to show a few things here, and bear with me as I try to explain it. This is what we call an overnight bag, and I'm going to kind of hold this up where you can see it. This is what you commonly see in a hospital. It's a very large bag. It's got some tubing, and basically the way this works, and I want to show this under a demonstration camera here, is because I've had some complications that were very misunderstood. As you can see, this catheter has a little blue cap on it. I've actually had people plug this into the catheter and then call me and tell me it's not working. And that's because when you put them on, never forget, this is a cap. You want to open in, okay? So when you do, now you just plug it in and it drains. Often people will have these big bags, and we call them often call them night bags. And that is because the night bag, when you're laying in bed, you may not get up for a while, or patients who aren't going to be mobile, you need a lot of volume. And so you've got a, you can hold a couple of liters in here and that'll be well. For men and women who may be more mobile, who are rehabilitating, who maybe have gone home from surgery, we often give them what we call a leg bag. It's the same thing. As you can see, it's got straps for the leg, i.e. the leg bag. And basically, it works. I'm going to show you under the cam here the same way. It's got a little cap. You unpop it and pop it on, and it drains to empty the bag. It goes in the bottom. Now, both of these bags have little, as you can see, spigots on the bottom. I tell people it's like a beach ball. When you're ready to empty it, you basically, so you, you just twist it, it opens it up and drains it, and you close it back and it tightens it back up so it doesn't leak. Same concept in this one, it's just a little different, it's very simple. Open it and it drains and close it and it's free not to leak again. Whenever you go home from the hospital, whenever you go home from your doctor or your urologist office, my nurses are, we spend a lot of time instructing patients on these, never leave the hospital if you don't feel comfortable with this. It's very easy. Most people are afraid to ask. A lot of times we in medicine often just assume. People know how to take care of it, send them home with it. 
just say, hey, explain to me how to do this again. And they'll walk you through it. It's very simple. won't be a problem for you. And just a few questions and a few answers can alleviate a lot of issues and a lot of questions people often have about Foley catheters. One of the real concerns people have is the smell. They say, you know, I've had a cat. I give patients a mouse on I've had a catheter. Some people have to have them all their life. Some people have to have them for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. They say, Doc, it smells horrible. I have a very simple thing that will keep your catheters from smelling bad. What I tell people is this. Um, get a, the best thing I've found is a, one of the small water bottles, like you drink Ozarka or Dasani water in, works great. Fill it half with water, can be tap water out of the, out of the sink, and half with Clorox bleach. Shake it up real well, okay? And if people have a big bag or a leg bag at night, we, we showed you this earlier, this is the tubing, this is the leg bag here, okay? What I tell people to do is every day when you unplug this, they usually they sleep with this big bag that we showed you at night. Usually they'll, in the mornings I tell people, get up, either put a new leg bag on, uh, the leg bag that we showed that you can wear the leg bag, or another big bag, and take the one. Now let's just assume this is the one we unhooked. Empty it out at the bottom and clamp it off. Take that bottle with half water and half bleach. Just pour, oh, four or five ounces in this, run it down the tube, shake out the bag real good, empty out that bleach and water, and just set this bag aside. Okay? Do that when you come back that night and hook the bag and rotate the bag. So as you follow me, what you're doing is each time you put a new bag on, when you put the new one on, you empty the old one, you run a little bleach and water through. What happens is the reason you get the smell in the bag is the bacteria attached to the plastic. What this does is it kills those bacteria. You will notice a dramatic improvement in, in the smell. That's the biggest complaint people have with catheters. Works like a charm, um, does not cause any problems, will not hurt your bladder. It's not going to go back up into your bladder or hurt anything. So a little chill, little pearl to put in your uh, bag to use to keep your catheters from being such a problem for you. The other big thing I tell people with a catheter, very important to stay well hydrated. It's a key with urologists. That's all you hear us talk about is drinking plenty of fluids. Some people who may have some heart problems may not be able to drink as much fluid. Just drink as much as your doctor will let you in that case, but, but a good hydration is what's going to really keep this catheter working well and keep you from having a problem. If in any course or any time along the way the catheter is not working, the catheter is not draining, you have a congestion, pick up the phone, call the urologist, and they can generally help you with it. If not, they can get you taken care of. Hope this has answered some questions, and I hope this will help you uh, take care of your catheters.